BYD EV Motor Show 2024. With that, we come into a group of students from Moroto University. Falcon E Racing, if I'm correct. Correct. Yes. So we have Vihan here. I get confused all the time. Vihan is here. His twin brother is also here. We are in the same outfit. He's Dihan. So, <laughs> Vihan. Yeah. Let's talk about the car. We'll talk about you and your brother later. Sure, sure. <laughs> Let's talk about the car. Yeah. So, what is this? This is a Formula student type race car and first let's give a brief introduction into what Formula student is. It is the world's the internationally recognized most uh, challenging and project wise the largest uh, competition undertaken by university students. It's an international competition where a multitude over 300 uh, international universities compete and if this particular car has uh, recently participated in Formula Bharat that was held in India in the Kari Speedway. So that's a brief introduction into Formula Student. Uh, I think that's well into the technical aspect of the yes. car as well. So we see that it's a relatively short wheelbase. When you see Formula cars, yeah. those are much more stretched out. I think it's to do with the type of racing that you engage in. Yeah. So if you can give an uh, overview, okay, this is the type of racing that we do. If you can sure. explain that. So basically, uh, the type of racing this car performs is very extremely tight circuits. Basically, the performance on a, a straight track during the track is uh, quite negated. Obviously, we have a braking event where we measure its braking performance and the acceleration event where we ch check its speed over a particular small uh, strip from 0 to 0, from 0 to 100. And the main racing events are the autocross event and the endurance event. The autocross event of the Formula Student category sees this car's performance over one lap. So that's the max out, you know, uh, pedal to the metal If we can give an average estimate of duration in terms of the distance. Yes. So basically, uh, the, endurance, uh, the endurance event is our longest event where this car has to have continually perform. It has one pit stop where we have a driver change. Uh, that event alone is 22 kilometers non-stop. So that goes to uh, show just how far and just how long this accumulator and the car should last to complete a race. So it's a total test out in all the drivetrain and also the components. Yes. Let's talk about the components also. So this is built from scratch. This is built completely from scratch. We have a few uh, bought out components where tech Sri Lanka just doesn't have the technology to manufacture yet. Uh, for instance, our shock absorbers, the electric motor and the particular cells that we use to assemble other battery pack. Please make no mistake, we have over 860 cylindrical lithium ion cells and the entire accumulator casing and segmentation is built in-house by the students in the campus. So I see. So if you can explain the aero, what's the inspiration behind it and what was the process for you to come up with this body? Okay. So right now what we have here, many people might think it's a carbon fiber body but right now what we have is a fiberglass body. And the reason we've gone for fiberglass is because of its cost constraints and it's the best way to start off the project. And carbon fiber will be our next evolution. So the front wing, we actually take off the front wing for certain events like during braking and acceleration because there is no added benefit for aero. But during cornering events like autocross, we tend to uh, attach our front wing and the rear wing to get, give us that extra downforce so that we get that extra cornering speed. Like that, uh, our side pods, you can see that we have two side pods. The side, pod, the side pods are actually used to cool the accumulator and the motor. Our motor is dual cooling, which includes uh, cooling from air as and well. And also liquid. Liquid, yeah. Yeah, so then let's talk about this project. So this is done under Monoto University. Yes. Who funds this? Uh, well, I'm glad you brought it up because this project wouldn't be here if not for our sponsors. First and foremost, we have to thank the university because the university has given us a huge facility and a workspace and especially technical know-how. Our head of department of the mechanical faculty, uh, Dr. Amar Singer, as well as our faculty advisors who work very closely with the car, Dr. J.R. Gamage and Dr. Leel Supersinger. They have been of immense help to bring this project this far. I would also, our technical sponsors and our cash sponsors, uh, Sri Lanka Inventory Commission, Brandix, 
micro LTL holdings, dialog, NG brake discs, Alumex. You can see almost all our aluminium components are made from the billet. Uh, central bearings, Nippon paint, the salt systems for software, CalSpan for tire data, SimScale for our simulations, and PitPass for our exposure, as well as Worth lubricants. All of them have helped us bring this car to this condition and especially make it race worthy where we took it Formula Bharat in January. So, this is the future of Sri Lanka. It's a bit sad to see this talent is exposing themselves this much to the country and the country doesn't have any value for them when they come to the corporate world. So, let's hope that changes in the future. Yeah, definitely. Because if they don't have demand here, obviously they will find demand overseas. So, with that, if you are willing to sponsor the effort which is going from Moroto University, we will put the contact details below. You can contact them and support them in this venture. With that, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Thank you.